Hey, welcome back, everyone. I have Hugo Alonso from Stay Winning Podcast. And today we're kind of touch on some of the tweets he's been or X he's been putting out on his uh, profile. And we're going to kind of touch base on it and kind of get his feedback on some of them. So welcome back, Hugo. Hey, what's up, Mark? Glad to be back. Nice to see you. Yeah, I took a going? week off, I think. You've been kind of busy with stuff. Oh, yeah, we can touch on that too. Didn't you shoot some videos and stuff somewhere this weekend? Mm. Did you or do some interview or something? I know you were doing something. This coming weekend, I am. Oh, this coming. Okay. Right. Maybe that's what you're thinking. Yeah, this weekend, I'll be in Las Vegas. Oh, okay. Or uh, yeah. Web3 slash nft slash blockchain crypto convention yeah that's so way over my be, head <laughs> so this weekend i'll be in las vegas doing doing that okay yeah we can touch on that too then later but yeah i want to kind of go over some of the things you've been tweeting or retweeting and kind of touch on that and get your thoughts on some of those so let's see here yeah, sure. um yeah one of one of the ones i liked recently was uh, you retweeted it from uh, Price of Avocado Toast, you know, so um, it says hmm, pocket watching. Do you know what pocket watching is? So can you kind of touch on that? So I kind of knew this behavior, but this was the first time I hear that term pocket watching. So shout out to Price of Avocado Toast. I'll see you guys at FinCon next month. And or anyone else that's going to FinCon, let me know or comment on this video. Uh, but yeah, the first time I hear the term pocket watching. Uh, but I'm actually very familiar with with the action. So what it is is you is when an individual is focused on how another person is spending their money, right? So you mark you're in Hawaii, say you travel here to Disneyland, right? And someone goes, "Oh yeah, you probably have a sugar mama," or "Where'd you get that money to go to Disneyland?" You know, you probably inherited, it. and and it, it mostly comes out of jealousy because uh, after I came across that term today. From price, of avocados, from price of avocado toast. Yeah, it mostly goes out of jealousy because I know whoever would say something like that would switch places with an individual automatically, right? So if you go to Disneyland and someone's hating, oh, yeah, it's because he inherited that money. Or, oh, yeah, it's because he got a shirt. Well, it's like, well, shut up. You would probably, if you had that opportunity, <laughs> you'd be at Disneyland too, you know? Yeah. Uh, so that's what pocket watching is. Someone watching how you spend your money and questioning like, you know, maybe that you're not good enough to to be able to spend that kind of money because you didn't earn it yourself. When in most of the times, well, 100% of the time, it's not no one's business, right? And 99% of the time, yeah, you probably earned it one way or another. I yeah. know a lot of times we hate on inheritance, but I want my kids to inherit something, right? A lot of times we hate on the rich kid at school, but dang, we all want to be the rich kid, <laughs> right? Oh, you yeah, want to have the definitely. coolest PlayStation and the coolest Xbox, like if you're a kid, right? So, like, yeah, you hate on the rich kid, but it's like, come on, you would swap. You, you yeah. swap places yeah. if you could, right? You know, there's many times that you probably didn't get a girl in high school because someone else pulled up with a cooler car. And half your friends are like, oh, yeah, it's because his parents bought a girl. But it's like, hey, you would capitalize on an opportunity to get that cool car and get the girl to jump in too, you know? So, Did I know you in school or something? <laughs> <laughs> so so that's what the term reminded me of all those actions and then i looked it up and and yeah that's that's pretty much what it is so i retweeted that from pie so i got a toast um i thought it was something that people should know about uh, especially in the message i'm trying to, to to create which is there's enough for all of us to eat there's enough slices of the pie where no one has to miss out like we can all win right so like you and me we're doing this here if i get monetized on youtube that doesn't stop you from getting monetized on YouTube, right? That's just one example. If I purchase a home, it doesn't stop you from purchasing a home. So there's enough for everyone to go around and, and win and eat. As long as yeah. you want to do the work and, and, you know, put the time into it and effort that it requires to get that win. Yeah, definitely. I think the important thing is like you're saying, like, let's say you get monetized. Now, am I going to stop? and criticize you or you know say oh you got lucky or am i going to use you as a resource and be like, hey how how did you get monetized or how did you do this or how did you scale so i think that's the thing is your mindset on are you going to take advantage of having these resources and figuring out how these people got to maybe where you want to be 
And I think that's the struggle with, you know, social media nowadays. You, like you said, you're seeing certain things on there. And I, I mean, I fall into it too. Sometimes I see something, say, oh, you know, like maybe he's paying someone to do those videos for him or, you know, this and that. But then you really got to change your mindset and be like, oh, okay, that's an interesting post he has. I'm going to figure out how he did it or how he, how he was, you know, uh, presented it or kind of how he put his format or just figure it out from them. Right. So. Yeah. I think that's a great point you bring up. A lot of it is mindset. And in my culture, it's very common for someone to get a win and everyone else, everyone else hate on that win. Uh, and I think George Lopez has a great stand up on it. Um, I don't remember exactly the words, but it was a great example of like when someone reaches a new milestone or a win, they, you know, they go and talk shit about it or, or don't give them the credit that they deserve. But mindset has a lot to do with it. So I'm glad you brought that up because uh, if there's a message for my audience or even your audience, I think, Mark, you'd be cool with this is if someone is winning or someone is in that position that you want to be in, uh, you know, don't hate on that. Appreciate it. Embrace it. Learn from it. Let it be an example that if that person can do it, you can do it too. At the end of the day, we all bleed, we all sweat, we all hurt. Yeah. We all have different strengths and just play on those strengths to achieve what you want to achieve. Yeah. I think it's like that example they have, like sometimes they show that the the bucket with the crabs all trying to get out and the one crab is making <laughs> its way out and the rest of the crabs are just pulling it down. Or, But then if they, if they really exactly. helped each other, right? If one crab gets to the top, and now he mm -hmm. pulls the next one up and they keep, and then they're all going to get out at some point. But first of all, to, to all the crabs out there, I'm going to eat you all anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a great example. And you know, if you edit this, you should insert like a meme or something like that. That's a great oh. example. Of, Where's uh, the sound? Where's the soundboard for that? Oh, let's see. Let's see. We're testing some stuff out here. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> I like it, man. Yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, I think it was talking about crabs in a bucket and, you know, they're all trying to get out and make their way. And there's one crab that's succeeding. And then, you know, the rest of the crabs, instead of helping, so they all can get out, that one crab is pulling it back. And now they're all back in the same place together instead of them working together and they could all escape, right? Yeah, that's, that's a huge metaphor. I'm glad you mentioned that. That's something that's very common in my culture, probably other cultures that I'm not going to name, uh, but yeah, that's huge. And, and the other one that it reminds me of is um, a lot of people, everyone's going to need help at one point, right? But you're able to help more people when you reach the top first. Or another way you can say it is you can fill more glasses when your glass is full. If your glass is half empty, it can only go so far. If your glass is full, everyone else can drink and your glass will still have something left. So let that little crab crawl to the top. If you're that crab or, or some other crab, you know, there's enough for everyone to win, especially with social media and the internet. Just because someone wins doesn't mean someone else has to lose. Yeah, I love it. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I think I saw it on another or heard it on another podcast today. It's, you know, like you can have a hand out or a hand up, right? And that's kind of what it is instead of just helping people stay in the same place. You know, give them a hand up to get them out of that situation, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to send me that podcast. I'll be cool to listen to. Yeah. All right. That's all I do nowadays, man, is podcasts and edit videos. <laughs> <laughs> Editing, yeah. man, it takes time. So for anyone that tunes in, thank you. Hit like, subscribe. Appreciate the editing that we do because that's the, the most time-consuming part of all this. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely. I mean, I actually have fun. I don't know if you have fun doing it, but I, I kind of enjoy doing it. And um, it, it, I think I, I think I like it because it's challenging. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>